All right, so the next thing I'm going to work on today isn't necessarily a fix, but a, an improvement. So what I'm going to do is install a water filter uh, in line for the ice maker because I've noticed if I fill up my tank, even though it's on a whole house filter, fills the tank, after it comes out of the tank, depending on where I got the water, uh, the ice cubes can be pretty nasty. So I'm going to put this as a last stage filtration for my uh, ice, and then I'm also going to do a filter under the sink. I don't know if I'm going to get to that today or not. So that's what we're going to work on. So I got my friend Mark here with me. Hey. So as you can see on the side of the RV, this is where the refrigerator is. You will see two, two uh, covers here, inlet, outlet, basically so you get airflow. So you turn these sideways, turn the block sideways, pull that off. And, as you can see, uh, right here, this is actually a water shutoff. Here's a valving mechanism um, that allows the water to come in from the tank. goes into here. You'll see foil on the line. This is actually a heated line that goes back up, uh, back up to the ice maker in the top. Heated line is to keep it from freezing. When you're in cold temperatures, it keeps that water line from freezing on the outside. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move move this valve. I'm going to move it back. I'm going to have to disconnect the line at some point, and I have an OmniPure filter. So, order this off of Amazon, a little OmniPure filter. The idea is that I'm going to get it in line here. Make sure you know which direction your flow is going. I have a little bracket coming that's going to uh, mount down and hold this in place. But this will be my new replaceable little water filter that I'm going to use. So the first surprise we got in cutting this line here, I just needed a little stub. Water started spraying out a little bit. Um, I don't have my water pump on, but there's still enough pressure in there to cause that to happen. So shut that off first. So as soon as I shut that off, I was able to cleanly cut the line and uh, feed it into this water filter, and that'll be my first connection. All right, so we've got our little piece put together here. I'll probably tighten the uh, that valve back down right there. What you really should do is get like five gallons of flow through this before you actually hook it to the system. So before I actually hook this end back up, um, I wonder if that piece will be long enough. Yeah, it like probably will be. Yeah, be. Alright, I'm going to turn my water pump on Flushing. and we're going to flush that filter out. We're live. Alright, so what we're going to do is get some water flowing through this. We're going to just flush this filter out here. Oh, look at that. That's good. They say to get about five gallons worth out of it. And it gets all the charcoal out of the filter, out of the line and everything. So we'll let that run a little bit, and then we'll hook up the other side. So we got it all flushed out. Uh, I decided not to screw this back down in because if I ever want to pull this filter out a little bit, I need a little bit of room to do that. Uh, I'm going to have a clamp on this filter anyway, but uh, I got this hooked up. When I get the little clamp in, I'll screw that in. It'll hold this in place. Uh, the line is a little taut, but I, don't, I think it'll be all right. It's right there. And ready to turn the water on, see what happens. Crush fingers. Oh, good sign. No leaks. Didn't blow a line out. It's all good. Not leaking. So as soon as I get that clamp in, I will clamp this guy in. And it's all said and done. I have filtered water up there. Uh, now what I need to do before I go anywhere, of course, is run a couple batches of ice cubes through and toss that. Otherwise, to get water all the way through that line, all the way back up, to the freezer you have to pull the ice maker and short out two leads on it to get it to dispense water 
like it was filling, and that's a real pain. So just running a couple batches of ice through is enough to clean it. 